Here's Travis's cone shovel head. Beautiful bike, super clean. Um, we wanted to chopper it up, which is awesome. So we got stock frame, so we started with. Chopped it, uh, hardtailed it. So it's a original casting hardtail kit. Looks super good. And then up front, we came in and did uh, two and a quarter inches up in the down tubes. So I re-ran the down tubes. 38 degree rake in the neck. Obviously we ran everything up top and cleaned it up. Took off the top mounts for chopper tank. Uh, it's gonna be super nice. So I'm, I'm, I'm pumped on this frame. So here's what we're working on today. Okay, so we've got, as you can see, typical shovel head setup, uh, four speed, eared transmission, the long shaft, inner and outer primary. We're gonna keep that. I'm gonna do a lot of modifications to inner and outer, but not for this part. I'll do that in a separate video. Just show you how to spice it up a little bit. But we're gonna run a horseshoe oil tank. To me, they always look the best and this is classic. You can't go wrong with it. So if you have a stock starter on here, it's gonna stick out to about right here. It comes almost out to here and there's a little mount, oops, a little uh, ear bracket that comes off here. One goes to the starter for a little support. That's not gonna work because I want you to see the right side of this bike and never know that it has a starter. So the starter has to end inside the battery tray, which isn't a huge deal. So I came over, I got a spike starter. Here's the stock one. You can see these are the typical six inch length uh, starters. Here's a spike. Look at the length difference. So the goal is to section out this side of the oil tank right here, and then the starter will end right before the right side of the tank. So we can keep all of this. I do not want it to look modified on the right. I want it to look 100% stock. So we're gonna start out. I'm gonna put the starter on, just get it bolted. Um, I'll pull the oil tank in, mark off what needs to be cut. So we're gonna end up having to section this in a certain spot. It's not a big deal. It'll look, you'll never even know. It'll look good. And then uh, I'll have to cut out the batteries or all the support braces. We'll do a raised battery tray in here. I'll run an anti-gravity, one of the, was a six cell for the starter so we get enough oomph. And uh, yeah, let's get to work. So, you see it will not fit with the starter. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna cut this rear ear off, keep finessing it, come in here, do a little scribe line wherever we think it needs to be cut and uh, keep it moving. So here's the oil tank. Started getting a, that's about the shape I'm gonna want when I cap it in. So I just uh, roughed everything a little more. Here's the other side, you can see it needs to be filled. But making quick template for this, I can uh, cut it out, probably do some 18 gauge sheet. So that'll be good. This is how I did the template. So usually I use like a thick, uh, like a poster paper for templates, but this one, since it's so thin, you can literally, I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but you can press in and you can see it right there. You can pull it off and just cut right out. So here's what I ended up with. So I'm gonna take this, transfer over to a piece of 18 gauge and uh, start cutting. Then we'll work on fitting this back in. this side in first test fit it again this is the side I'm worried about this I know it's gonna fit so I want to double check on this so I'll tack it in test fit it and start finish welding
getting messy over here. About time to start cleaning again. But here's uh, one side wrapped up. So you can see, if you look at it from the bottom like this, it's still got the, uh, the big pinch seam on the top. A little grinding in there, but uh, she looks good. And then now, it's time for the fun side. So let's cap this uh, right side, or I guess left side, uh, left side tank in and uh, see how that goes. All right, so I just realized I lost most of the footage from this, so it's gonna be a little shaky, a lot of bits and pieces, but we're just gonna go over to a quick overview. You can see in the back here, we got our uh, little spike starter over here. Suction this out just for a little extra clearance. Over on this side, it looks like a completely stock kick-only bike, so I'm real happy with that. Turned out exactly how I wanted. Ended up cutting the uh, the support plate, so we're missing about that much on there, but it keeps that stock look. Then up back, came in, we got two support tabs, one on each side, one in the center there, uh, holding into the cross tube, so we aren't gonna have any broken tabs. We've got our uh, little battery box in here to hold our anti-gravity, so that's gonna work out perfect. Then over to the other side, get one more look here. Everything's fixed mounted and this is exactly where it's gonna stay when this bike's complete. So you see we've got a nice clearance here. Everything fits the frame rails nice. Yeah, I'm real happy with this. I think this is gonna be a, a awesome piece. It's one of those subtle things that people aren't gonna notice. And then when they do notice, they'll, uh, they'll appreciate it. So yeah, I'm gonna see what other uh, footage I lost, start uh, going through these things and get back on track here.